The Roman bridge at Merida is the longest bridge in the world surviving from ancient times. It is 792 meters long, that is half a mile, and contains 60 arches. The bridge was in use by traffic until 1993 when the new Lusitania Bridge was opened. This temple was dedicated to the Roman goddess of the hunt, Diana, which would have formed a central part of the Roman Forum. In the 16th century, oddly enough for us, the ruins were incorporated into a mansion. Arriving at the Hippodrome, I found to my surprise that it was not only still in use, but it was very busy. Few were the remains. And some of those had been embellished. This is the so-called Arch of Trajan, although it is now known that it was probably built in the reign of Augustus. Maybe the locals named it that because Trajan was a Spanish emperor. More Roman remains can be found in the Al Kathaba, an Arab fortification built to defend the bridge. In fact, stone from the previous Roman fortification here was used in its construction, and this wall was built on the ruins of an old Roman dam. The archway in the background here is on the line of the old Roman Cardo Maximus, where commerce was carried out, and excavation has revealed vestiges of Roman shops either side. Here a section of Roman roadway has been exposed. Another trace of the Roman occupation lies out by the Hippodrome, the scant ruins of baths fed by hot springs. 
The National Museum of Roman Arts at Merida contains many interesting exhibits that have been dug up from the Roman past, such as these likenesses of the imperial family, or this mosaic, or these portraits of a man and a woman, or this head of the guardian spirit of the colony or the head of the emperor himself, Augustus, in whose reign the Roman colony was founded in 35 BC.